Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video, as the title says, I will show you that how to just design a Android app using Android Studio along with the Photoshop. Okay, so in the Android Studio, I have a blank project which is named as My Beautiful App. Extremely blank, nothing over here. This is a empty activity and uh, Today in this video, I will show you that how to just simply design some kind of stuff inside this Android app. So we use the Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop for the, uh, what we say, graphical activities. So if you don't have the Photoshop, then you can simply use the MS Paint, which you probably may have it. Or you can also use any online editing tools. So yeah let's get started so first of all what i'm going to do is that i guess that the initial startup of any application nowadays uses a login screen so i thought of creating a video on just customizing a login screen so in this tutorial i will show you that how to just use just uh, something like creating a login application and uh, yeah we are going to design the layout file so let's get started first of all we have to add a beautiful image into this layout and uh, just add a text edit text and something like that and finally a login button so let's get started so first of all i'm going to add a image so we have the image view from over here we can simply i like coding so when i learned the programming i really hate the way of just typing the programming and uh, i always hated this main activity window i hate it because i don't know how i actually just do inside it so nowadays i love it but anyways i'm going to destroy it okay so inside the image view i'm going to add something the width and height width is going to be the match pair and my idea is like the height is going to be 200 so this is my idea you will get it within few times so it's rc is going to be the source so we have to add the drawable file which is going to be a background image for this image view so in this time i'm going to the photoshop so in my case i have the photoshop opening a sample image maybe from these flat wallpapers so these are the wallpapers that i'm using in my tutorial so if you i i, I found so many people asking for these wallpapers so and maybe i will be adding the adding this wallpaper in the description below this video and uh, i'm going to use something like maybe this or uh, this yeah maybe i guess this one is better or uh, this i'm selecting this one clicking the open and uh, yeah first of all what we have to do is that we have to keep in mind that we have to just adjust the size of this wallpaper maybe wallpaper or something like any image so we have to adjust the image into the fit screen so we have to just go to the image then click on the image size and change the width 540 maybe the height height doesn't matter in our case so click on the ok i recommend the height into 300 pixels or something like that now we have the image i'm going to save it so save as in the desktop and uh, i'm using the jpeg for the low quality images so tapping it in the background saving it so so in case if you don't have the photoshop then you can use the ms Paint like ms 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 Paint. open the ms Paint, and inside that open your image okay let's suppose this is your image open that and all you have to do is simply press ctrl e on the keyboard which will bring up this image properties window and simply change the values into something like the width into 540 and the height into 300 for the better experience and click ok and save that file so once you're done then you have to simply copy this image into your android studio drawable folder then paste it here paste now the image src is going to be background from the drawable folder now in case if you found something like this that the image is not actually fit inside this window then you have to simply add a line that is android scale type into center crop you can use maybe i guess that you better try all these setups and uh, 
choose the one that fit for you so in my case i will be pretty sure that the center crop is okay so i'm selecting that one now i have the image now so in my idea i just want to add a text view over here and uh, some login details over here and finally a login button here and some other customization so I'm going to add a text view at the center of this text so I just forgot to mention you guys that I'm using a relative layout in which we can uh, able to add item uh, about just one item so likewise I'm using a text view about this image view so so what I have done is that simply drag a text view about this image view now I'm going to the text simply removing the ID I don't want the ID sometimes it just become disgusting so android then text color into white android white android text style into bold i have some idea in my mind so i'm just doing that i'm going to simply change this into create account so as i have mentioned before this is going to be a sample activity in which i'm going to just create a I'm going to create a window with the login details so I want to change the margin top into something like 80 dp next I'm going to just copy the same thing paste it again and this time I'm going to add or yeah the margin top into 100 now as you can see inside the design it looks something like this Okay, so next we are going to add some edit text and something like that. So I'm going to just add a plain text just after this in the center. Now I'm going to just customize it using, uh, I want to use the match parent. Okay. And name into, so this is a normal. Uh, input type so I want to change it into email next I want to add a another uh, text for the password so a text simply changing this now this is going to be the type is going to be the password now we have to simply change the below into edit text 3 okay now it's okay everything is well perfect and next I'm going to add a button so button dragging it into the center going to text changing it into login so we will be discussing the button and uh, using a custom button and something like that in the upcoming tutorial so stay tuned now changing it into 20 sp changing the background color into dark also text color into android white and using a custom button size that is going to be like 100 dp okay now we have almost everything next finally i'm going to just maybe i'm just going to change the mass parent into 350 or yeah 340 dp using this same thing inside the second one mass parent into 340 dp okay so i will show you one more thing if you are an indian then you will probably know about an application called petium in which they actually use this method this tile inside the splash screen of their application so that is uh, this thing that is match parent then dp dp okay now background into dog also we have to add parent let me show you parent bottom true okay now looking into the application you can see we have a a solid color at the bottom which is called view you can see over here now the application which i just mentioned before that is patium uses this kind of theme now i'm going to just copy the same thing and uh, pasting it again 
now I want to just add an ID for this so I'm going to just add a line below or above my view and removing this line now I'm going to use a different color now as you can see I'm using a different style so yeah that's for this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we are going to just add some other kind of custom button and uh, uh, material design edit text and uh, just maybe a simple animation also yeah i know that a lot of tutorials are out there to be covered like the firebase tutorial yeah i know about that and uh, i heard a lot of people were asking for that firebase tutorial so i think that we have a lot of other tutorials should cover before that so that's why i'm just discussing about this the layout designing and something like that as always stay tuned thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Thank you.